right, who's first? Eric, you guys are in a, a tough stretch of the schedule, and I don't think you know other teams are not going to feel bad when the Warriors lose. Got to bring your best every night. What kind of perspective do you keep to make sure these this collection of losses doesn't feel so daunting? Um, I obviously try to keep a good energy. I mean, not try to get uh, down on yourself. It's just uh, keep trying to play hard. I mean, I feel like that's the only thing we can control. We can't control anything else. So just playing hard and. Uh, Trying to have fun out there. Jordan said that his uh, confidence, you know, remains the same no matter what he's been doing. How have you seen that as his teammate? Uh, he's, been, he's been doing a great job. He's shooting the ball with confidence, and uh, it's great to see him. I mean, I know he's struggling a little bit, but uh, as long as he keeps his confidence and as long as he uh, plays with that aggression, we're fine with it. Eric, how much has it helped having Steph on the bench, not just for home games, but on the road? And, and what are you hearing from him throughout the course of the game? Uh, he just brings great energy, honestly. I mean, he does a great job of just talking to all the young guys, telling us to keep playing, keep going, even though we, we hit those stretches. But, uh, I mean, it's fun having him on the bench, great guy to talk to, just to, uh, in terms of seeing the game in a different way, because he's been out there for so long and knows the game so well. So. He's a great guy to just talk to about it, any little thing, honestly. I know you guys have been losing a lot of these games lately, but the last four, I think, are against playoff teams. Is there anything that you can positively that you could take out of those games as far as maybe it just being a good measuring stick for you guys where you guys currently stand? Um, I don't know. I mean, just like, just personally, I don't know. I, mean, I can't say we enjoy it right now because losing is not fun. So I feel like we're just trying to stay the course, get better every day, uh, you know, keep keep playing the game basketball. I mean, it's still a blessing to be able to go on in that court and be able to play, play basketball every day and get paid for it. So I mean, that's the one thing that you, you also have to look at. It's just, even though we're losing these games, it's not life or death. It's not that no problem. We still get to go out there and play basketball, but also it's, it's not fun losing at all. One last one for Bruce. I'm just curious, you know, you uh, having to go through this rough time, but yet you're getting a chance to play a lot. Is that sort of um, loving the, the negativity, being able to play a lot and develop your career maybe more quickly than you would say if everybody was healthy, you wouldn't be getting quite as many minutes. Does that provide you with a good feeling that you're you know, jump-starting your career here? Yes and no. I mean, it's good for my career, good for my development, but at the same time, I would much rather win and, uh, instead of having these losses. I mean, but uh, that's why I say yes and no. I mean, yeah, at the end of the day, you still got to look at yourself for certain aspects, but but everything's better when winning. Everybody, it's a lot easier for everybody when winning. Uh, I've always I've always uh, went by like like everybody eats when we're winning. I mean, it's better for everybody, no matter who you are on the team. So instead of losing, I'd much rather win. And, it'll still be better for the whole team instead of like just certain guys. So you look at it from both aspects, but when when you're winning, it's, it's a lot better for everybody on the team. Great, thank you. We've got Glenn coming in right now.